Hey y'all, it's your girl Jamea Miracle, you know me. So today I'm here to talk to y'all about what to bring to basic training 2020 COVID edition. So again, this is for the US Air Force, not any other branch. A little background by myself, I just got done with basic not too long ago, two months ago, so the end of September. And then I just finished tech school and now I'm at my first duty station. That's why I'm in here. I'm actually in a hotel right now because, you know, going to a new state, you have to quarantine. So that's why I'm here. But no, I'm the best person to get advice from because I've been through fire. I did it. I did it all. So let's jump right into this video. The first thing I'm going to say is pack light. It's a lot of like, please pack light. You do not need that much stuff for basic training it's this app you should download it's called the air force delay entry program you should download that app if your recruiter has not already told you about it get that app because it gives you a basis of what you need to know as far as what you need to pack what you need to study uh like memory work as far as rank military time things of that nature okay so a watch get you a basic watch i got this watch from walmart for like 20 dollars. please get you a watch because it would really come in handy so as you can see it tells the time the day of the week it is what day it is also it has a timer oops okay it has a time okay as i was it has a, it has a timer it also has a stopwatch the timer can really come in handy because uh when you're trying to time yourself for your push-ups and sit-ups this comes in handy okay please do not be that person in basic asking what time it is like it's 3 30. don't don't be that person you don't want to be that person like just get you a cheap little watch it, it really come in handy like i really like this little basic watch okay <laughs> you don't need that many civilian clothes because in basic we were in civilian clothes for like a day and then after that we were in pt gear okay so i would bring maybe two basic white tees a pair of jeans and like two pairs of sweats or something because you do not need that many clothes i made that mistake and i bought like a whole bunch of stuff also with socks regular socks i just bought brought like a whole bunch of little ankle socks you don't you, you don't need that many maybe like two pair of civilian socks because you will be running around in these ocp socks in these pt socks okay because that's all you wear is your your military clothes up in basic anyway um another underwear and bras so i know it says like bring like six pair i mean yeah you can bring a lot of pairs of underwear and bras but says like white or black it do not matter what color your underwear and your bras are no one's gonna be looking at you like this is the type of underwear i brought i don't know what the other ones went here to go okay this is the type of underwear i brought like regular degular boy shorts it can be any color it do not have to be white and black because i was at walmart trying to find white and black everything crazy bras like i bought my i bought my um my pink under armor bra this is just an example of like a color bra i brought like they can be any color please don't be out here i need white but i need no you don't okay but for underwear i would suggest like like boy shorts or um some granny panties because that's what a lot of the girls had <laughs> granny panties um hey another thing with you're gonna get something called your dress blues so you're gonna want to bring a regular degular bra you're gonna want to bring like a black a black bra to wear also they let you wear earrings this is for when you take your dress blue photos okay only when you take your dress blue photos you want to wear a regular bra to have under your your shirt some nice conservative earrings you can just bring they also let you wear like makeup for your dress blue photos so this is what i brought um you know nothing nothing too crazy just bring some conservative makeup you don't have to bring your whole makeup bag another thing you can get is spanks get you 
some Spanx or com some compression shorts for guys. Like, it comes in handy. You can get some at your local Walmart. I didn't find any at Walmart, so I had to take myself down to Dick's and get that expensive stuff. Like, mm, mm But, yeah, some of these. I also had, I brought some, like, longer pairs, too. Some long Nike pairs to basic, too. But, yeah, get you get yourselves some Spanx. You don't need, like, six pairs at the most, like, three you don't need that many pairs of Spanx. Um, something I want to share with you guys. Something they give us at Basic. Because I know a lot of um, people really have like questions or like were wondering. So they give us laundry bags. This is the laundry bag. And this is the mesh bag. That you put your dirty undergarments in. Like your bras and your Spanx and your underwear. You put that in there. Put them in there. We get we get like four mesh bags. Close it up, lock it with the black, tie it because I know laundry crew like when you get there you you have a, like a laundry crew and they'll do the laundry, so make sure you secure your bag so none of your stuff will fall out. That's a laundry bag. Okay. Um. What else? Let's go into some accoutrements like deodorant. Some. Travel size deodorant. I brought like some baby oil. I brought my moisturizer because my face be dry. So I brought some moisturizer. Also, shampoo. This is the conditioner. Some hair stuff, some spritz. Okay, so tie your hair down at night. I know like a lot of people probably don't, but tie your hair down at night and basic because it helps. Spritz helps lay your, lay your bun down. Please bring you a scarf because when I was in basic training, a lot of girls didn't have a scarf. I didn't have a scarf. Okay, I did not have a scarf. I had a bonnet because I had braids. But then I ended up taking out my hair and wearing my natural hair. And I didn't, I was, I didn't have a scarf. Bring you a scarf, at least like just in case. Um, I got this little travel size. Vaseline. So in basic, they give us loofahs and like this tall like um, body wash. Um, some girls, you know, may not use a loofah, so bring you a towel. That's what some girls did. They brought them a towel and regular Dove soap, and regular Dove soap or whatever you know, your body needs. They give you deodorant. It was like this, like Mitch something. I don't know. I brought my own deodorant, but yeah. Um. Don't forget. Okay, you can't really see, but yeah. Bring your pads, your tampons. It was some girls that didn't have like tampons and stuff. So bring bring your necessary items. If you know you're about to get your period, like bring bring tampons, bring pads. The thing, like I brought these little containers. You can get you can get some okay. Let me put on Walmart. It's the section where, like, the makeup and the toothpaste and the toothbrushes are. It's a section that has, like, travel size, like, everything. So, I had, I had got th th these, a whole bunch of these. It has, this is Shea Moisture in here. I don't know why I put it in this little thing. And they have, like, bottles, little um, little plastic bottles. Get those. Go to, go to your local Walmart and get that. Okay. Another thing I would suggest bringing is a portable charger. Okay, this comes in handy. Oops, wrong way. This comes in handy. I got this at Walmart. I know, Walmart fanatic. I got a portable charger. Charge it up before basic because when you get out of basic and your phone is there and you're traveling to your tech school and you don't got no charge on your phone, you're going to feel salty. Get you a portable charger because that portable charger came in handy. It was a whole bunch of people that phones were dead and I was just looking at them. Because that's tough. That's tough. Get you a portable charger. It really came in handy, okay? Because I was on there and I was charging my phone. Having the best day of my life. Another thing. So, we have these things called, um, like, clothing inspections. And they check for lint and strings. Bring you a lint roller to basic. I wish I would have brought me one. Bring you, like, a small lint roller to get the stuff off. I know you're probably thinking, like, oh, why do you a lint roller? No, bring you a little, a little, like, lint roller. Also, a ruler. I don't know if they gave us rulers, but I would bring a ruler. 
Okay, this comes in handy um, when you're rolling and folding clothes. Like, all we did was roll OCP shirts and fold socks and towels and and this and that, everything. I might do a video of how to roll and fold, but I don't know. Bring your ruler. It comes in handy. Another thing people say to bring is a clipboard. I didn't bring no clipboard. Um, if I went to basic again, would I bring clipboard? I probably wouldn't. So the clipboard, I know like, why do we need a clipboard? The clipboard is for when you're making your bed with your hospital corners. I guess you put the clipboard against the bed and you like make your hospital corners. Also, it's good for like tucking your bed in really like crisp and neat. Um, I used to use other people's um, clipboards, but not really like, you really don't need, I mean, at, at your discretion, if you want to bring a clipboard, then by all means, bring a clipboard. But that's the reason why they say bring a clipboard, so you can, like, make your bed and stuff. But you can also buy that at basic training at the BX. Um, I think that's really it. No. So bring your important paperwork in, like, a vanilla folder or, like, you know your um whatever like important paperwork your recruiter gets you don't forget to bring that your social security card your driver's license because you need two forms of id because some people didn't have that bring your driver's license bring your social security card um also bring your credit card because there will be times where i don't know if you hear that i don't know what that is but um bring your credit card because there will be times that you want to buy stuff like squashing gear or stuff for your family or your photos I mean, your flight photos and your blues photos and all that other stuff. Um, stamps. So, they give us stamps, but if you got some spare stamps at home, like, like bring those. Because stamps cost a lot of money, okay? So, that's really all. Oh, no, wait. Okay, so this. This is an easy pay card, and I don't remember how much money was on there. They give us these easy pay cards, um, and it has um a number amount of money on there that was already taken out of our check anyway and we get to use this at the bx so another thing your easy pay on the back it has it has your name your flight the expiration date and a car number so this is the thing also they give us these little notebooks these little notebooks i would suggest and this is what the paper look like Ooh, geez louise okay front and back um this is the paper they give us i would suggest you bringing a small notebook to like write um to write your letters with i got this i actually bought this at the bx at basic but if you could just bring you a small notebook to write your letters in or like write your notes for like class because you will be having class I don't know if y'all can see that. But, yeah. Oh, since we're on the topic of mail, let me put y'all on real quick. So, it's something called Sandbox. It's something called Sandbox Mail. Sandbox Mail. And it gets there really fast. So, like, if your parents or whatever writes you, it'll get there, like, the next day. Also, another thing... Um, when you have a chance to, when the MTIs give you a chance to um, oh shoot, send your send your address, tell your parents, make sure as soon as they, like, as soon as you send your address to them at home, tell them to write you. Because that first time when the MTIs are passing out mail for the first time, you're going to be, you're going to want mail. Because we didn't get our first phone call until I don't know when. But, like, put them on to Sandbox. I put my parents on the Sandbox, okay? And my family and friends. I put them on. I put them on the Sandbox letter. So, like, look it up now and just, like, see how it works and whatnot. But Sandbox is, is dope. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think that's really it. Um, you really don't need that much. You don't, you don't need that much stuff. Pack light, you know, have all your to toiletries together your um you know your important paperwork please do not forget your important paperwork because you you're, you're gonna need it um so this is the end of this video 
um if you like it like this video subscribe um look out for more content because i have way more content coming um if you're shipping out like put your ship date down there feel free to contact me if you have any questions about the air force about bmt what to expect tips tricks anything reach out to me on instagram at mjammy underscore my socials will be somewhere around here but yeah if you're shipping out soon put your ship dates like in the comments if you have any questions comments concerns you can also always dm me on instagram or you can put it down in the comments below if you have any questions about bmt if you want to join the air force or the military like i'm happy to answer any questions but bye beautiful people and i'm over and out